This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the markets fell sharply as the 10-year Treasury yield crossed 5% for the first time in 16 years. Concerns over higher rates weighed on the market all during the week. The S&P lost 2.4%. The Dow dropped 1.6%, while the tech-heavy NASDAQ shed 3.2%, notching its second straight week of losses. It was a case of good news is bad news for the financial markets. You know, if Mark Twain was still around, he would have reported the death of the consumer has been greatly exaggerated as the economy has been resilient because consumers have continued to spend. This week, retail sales rose to a new record high while industrial production was better than expected, leading the Atlanta Fed at GDP Now tracking model to show real GDP grow at a whopping 5.4% in the third quarter. That's great news for stocks and confirms the belief that third quarter earnings will come in at a record high. Indeed, earnings seasons got off to a great start with the big banks beating analyst expectations for the quarter. Good news for the economy, but bad news for the Fed. In a widely anticipated speech delivered to the Economic Club of New York, Powell evaded committing to a specific policy path, saying that the bank is inclined to hold interest rates steady at the November meeting. In other words, another pause, while leaving open the possibility that we could see higher rates in the future if the economy does not slow down. After that comment, bond yields moved higher. So for now, inflation and the Fed are holding the bond market hostage, while the bond market is holding the stock market hostage, in spite of the fact that news on inflation has been relatively good. Inflation has fallen from 9% to just under 4% in a relatively short period of time. The really good news regarding inflation, as I mentioned last week, is that you exclude shelter, the core CPI inflation rate rose just 2% during September and is already at the Fed's 2% target. Price inflation appears to be remarkably transitory, not sticky or persistent like we baby boomers experienced while we were growing up. Of course, anything can happen short term. There is plenty of fear and anxiety driving volatility right now. But with inflation moderating, and if it continues its current downtrend, bond yields will be soon to follow.